Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this, when I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Well, well, ambitious. Perhaps, but they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, but I never fulfilled my promise. My time to change that. For if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone, need a strong shoulder to lean on. The witcher's shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? The plan's crazier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. The power of the eternal fire be with you. What's he doing? Open up. Fucking hay mm -hmm. What are you offering?
See you. Go away. Not a headache again. Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? The kind of pass confirms you ain't no mate. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Sorry. Don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on. How do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm... Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But where? Not your concern. Back to your post. <laughs> Regards from Siggy Reuven. <laughs> Look awfully suspicious to me, Tramp. <laughs> Shouldn't let that refuse into town. May he take after his father. So he'll be a milkman. <laughs> <laughs> Another drifter in from Tamaria. She cast no spells. Oh, on I'm my so honor. An ill sonar worth less than a man.
Now, witches, they can't catch the pox. Isn't that right? You trouble me, Greylocks. A witcher. Just what our band of merry men need. Geralt of Rivia. Safe and sound. Mentioned you have a problem. Mm hmm. It's Vess. She took a couple of lads across the river. She plans to hit the Black Ones at Mulbradale. So, sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Yes, when they're ordered to. Whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. Indefinitely. Don't trust Vess anymore? Bollocks. She's prepared to die for me. Ah, no, that's not the problem. Now what distinguishes a soldier from a common swashbuckler? The uniform. It's a serious question. A rhetorical one. So instead of waiting for an answer, just enlighten me. Soldiers think tactically. They know when to strike, when to fall back, when to charge and when to hold. Vess finds this difficult. She's impulsive, hot-headed. Yet in guerrilla warfare, one false step and you're fucked. I confined her to the camp because I feared that sent out she'd go rabid and make a mistake. I was right. Why Mulberry Dale? Why'd Vess go there? The peasants from the village aided us earlier. The Nilfgaardians learned of this. Word got out they're planning a punitive expedition. Probably hang every fifth villager. Hmm. Honestly, Vess's desire to save the villagers makes sense. What doesn't is your opposition to the plan. War means death. Not only for the soldiers, for the common folk as well. You can't save them all, it's that simple. Funny. Had you for an idealist. You were right to. Are right to. But I have one ideal. A free Temeria. And I'm prepared to sacrifice anything for it. All right, so you've got a problem. Insubordination. What am I supposed to do about it? I doubt Vess has entered the village. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. We must find her before she attacks and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. Count me in. Thanks, Geralt. I'll owe you a favor. Meet me in Velen beneath the Hanged Man's Tree. It's just a short jaunt from there to Mulberrydale. Do you kill kids? You and our commander. The Witcher. Just what our band of merry men. You trouble me, Greylocks. A witcher. Just what I'm thinking. Now, witches, they can't catch the pox. Isn't that right? It's the village below, black with Nilf guardians already. They're preparing to execute folk, 
No sign of this. Ah, she may be impetuous, but she's not stupid. She's waiting for her moment. Probably attack after dusk once. Shh. What now? A trio, lightly equipped, sneaking closer. Over there, near the. Death to the black ones! F me, Circa! Looks like we're too late. Geralt, we have to help. Follow me. Have you gone completely mental? You ignore my orders, go off on a suicide mission, and instead of donning a breastplate, you dash into battle, shirt open, navel and whatnot exposed. You're not my father, Roach. You've no right to tell me what to wear. But I am your commander, and you will obey me. Guerrilla warfare. Warfare! It involves armies, for fuck's sake. I could not abandon them. They helped us. It's a soldier's job to kill, Bess, not save, not rescue. If that is not to your liking, join the Sisters of Militale. Study to be a healer. Fucking hell. Give me your weapon. You'll get it back when you wise up, if you wise up. Move out! <coughs> Friend. One left. You took my weapon, Roach. So I must manage with my bare hands. Leave him alone. There are corpses enough here. What? You heard me. I did, and I can't believe it. He came here to murder civilians. He's seen us. Will you have him return to his camp and report? Emir knows we can kill his men. Let him learn that we can also show mercy. Roach. Noble of you and all, but occasionally I work for Nilfgaardians. Frankly, I don't want any trouble. I don't like this. But... so be it. You certainly don't deserve to suffer as a result. Well said, Geralt. A good black one's a dead black one. I'll strangle the bugger. Stand aside. I'll do it. Nen! Trokai! <laughs> Ah, we should go before a patrol comes along. Thank you, Geralt. Ever need any help, you know where to find me. <laughs> <laughs> 